Hey guys, I wanted to show you a house that my husband just listed and put on the market. This is a little house, um, almost 1,700 square feet. I want to talk real quick about, this is just a really great little house that I think you could do amazing things with for a little bit of money. And obviously the more money you have to spend on a house, the more you could do. But I'm going to talk about a couple of ideas and um, see what you think. The outside's really great. Really great trees, really established trees. Awesome neighborhood. It is so quiet here. Um, look at this big giant tree. Really great crepe myrtle at the end. Really some fun, fun landscaping. Let's talk about curb appeal. Not super great as far as color. It's kind of a yellowy brick. Has a gray mortar. I would change all this turquoise trim color. I would paint it a dark charcoal gray um, everywhere we see tur uh, turquoise. And then I would take the yellow that's on the fascia and on the shutters and I would do a lighter gray. And that would kind of match the mortar. I think that it would look really fantastic. Of course, you could always paint the brick as well, but great storm door. This house has new windows, so really energy efficient. Here is the entryway. This is a great entryway, and you just don't see these anymore. It has a little bit of wallpaper that I would tear down, and then I would do something super fun on this wall. Hang a chalkboard sign, um, do a collage or something like that. Here's the dining room. Now, really one of the simple things you could do to improve this house, because it has carpet, it's not bad. It's not bad shape, it's neutral, it's been cleaned, it's in pretty good shape. Pretty neutral tile in the kitchen and in the entryway, just a white ceramic. But, you know, you could actually lay LVT, which stands for luxury vinyl tile. I don't know why they call it tile, it's not really tile. Um, it's really inexpensive. And you could get like a wood uh, floor, something you could mop or whatever. But really for a few hundred dollars, paint would go a long ways in this house. Um, you could also really do a whole fixer-upper thing. Um, take out this wall, um, the back side of that wall is the kitchen. I'm going to show that to you in a second and open it all up. Here's a fireplace. I would absolutely paint that brick. I'd do a deep charcoal gray and I would put kind of a, probably a weathered gray on the floor or maybe even a walnut color. This is a little fun little niche that's beside the fireplace. It'd be a great little seating area. Hang some plants or maybe you even mount the TV there if you decided to keep the kitchen wall. That way people who are in the kitchen could see and participate, watch a movie or whatever while they're making dinner or drinks or whatever. Or little ones, if you have little ones that you could sit here, they could actually watch cartoons if you wanted to. Um, great little mantle. This living room has got this paneling. Um, really dated, but it's wood. It's real wood. So you could really do something fun. I love this feature that it doesn't go all the way to the top. So you could paint this paneling one color and then paint the rest of it another color. It'd be just so cute. Here's the kitchen. Kind of a simple galley kitchen. A couple of great things about this house. One, see these cabinets? Solid wood. They don't have a lot of carvings, no weird arches on the door. It's a raised panel, kind of a uh, shaker style door. Um, like I said, paint would go a long ways. Uh, kind of a generic Formica counter. Um, there's all kinds of things you could do if you want to upgrade those, but with those being kind of a just off-white color, you could totally live with those for a while. This house actually comes with stainless steel appliances. Um, stove, Refrigerator, here's the pantry. Some some pretty good storage in there. Um, dishwasher. And it has new windows. I know I said that before, but man, 
that's not a huge cosmetic thing as far as fun, but it is functional and it, it really does improve the look of a house. Here's the utility. Now what I would do in this utility is I would put a stackable washer and dryer. You'd, you'd need to do it on the side because that's where the washer is and it's a lot easier to move electrical than it is to move plumbing. But if you did a stackable washer and dryer, then all of this space could be storage. You could do some shelving and um, I just think that it would be better use of the space. So this is one of my favorite features of the house. Here is the garage. Now, why would the garage be one of my favorite features? Because you see that out there, I'm gonna zoom in. That's an alley. It really has kind of an urban feel with having that private alley. That's the privacy fence that goes into the backyard, which is super charming. I'll show you that in a minute. Really great storage in this garage. And the garage is on the back side of the house. So you're not looking at the garage when you first pull up. That's so ugly. I don't know why they ever put garages on the front side of the house. So this has got this little, this must have been like a porch that they closed in. It's kind of like a three seasons room. I, you can tell it's hollow by the sound. I love this little room. You could make this a playroom. You could make this an office. There's, there's electric out here. So you could clearly put a ceiling fan. Um, you could put a window unit in it if, if you wanted it to be air conditioned, but what a great place to send your kids to play if it was wet or cold or nasty. This is the backyard. It is so sweet. It is big enough that you could put a little playground set. It's got this awesome deck. We would be having so many parties on this deck. I would put a little sectional or create some seating. Uh, maybe even make something out of old pallets and stuff. Um, I would definitely take some pallets and do some kind of a disguise over the electric panels because those are just hideously ugly. I would make this like a little kitchen area with a grill. And right here, I would do like a farmhouse style table, you know, something rectangle. Um, and you literally could have some like a living, dining, another whole outdoor living area. This backyard is precious. Little rose bushes. Down here, there's some little crepe myrtles. There's a bird bath. I mean, just precious, precious backyard. Let me go back in. Man, you could even make this little room. What if you made this room like a little bar? You could hang a light right there, have shelves, do a bar right there, and then big dining table outside. And then you come in here and everybody gets their drinks. Oh my gosh, that's such a cool idea. All right, let's go look at the bedrooms. Here's one little bedroom, great closet. It does have carpet, um, certainly some paint. Definitely think the light fixtures in the house need to be fixed. These ceiling fans, they're really great ceiling fans. No wobble, no noise. They must have, uh, they're just really, really good quality, but they are ugly, but you know what? I spray painted some ceiling fans recently, changed out the globes and for about, you know, four bucks for spray paint and you know, somewhere between five and $10 a globe. It's like I got new ones. Here's the bathroom. Now here's the thing, people buy bathrooms and kitchens and there's just no other way around the fact that this is just an ugly bathroom. However, the bones are pretty good. It's got a little tiny bit of baby wallpaper it would probably take 15 minutes or less to take it off. Even if you lived with the carpet for a while, you know, probably for 40, 50 bucks, you could change this floor in this bathroom. The shower has got like a high shower head that in both bathrooms, the uh, shower heads are hung high, which is, it, it, that just makes for a much more comfortable shower. Bathroom cabinets are solid wood. Same raised panel shaker style door. So there's some really good potential here. And you know, when you move into a house, you don't have to change everything all at once. You need to live there a while and develop its personality. Here is another bedroom. 
You could easily put two kids in each of these bedrooms. This house is bigger than some of the houses I lived in when I first started having a family. Another really great closet. One of the features I love, this is a little linen closet. I would do something super fun here. I would hang a, a it, it's missing the door. So I would go get an old door, maybe a door that was half glass and maybe etch something in that glass that says linens or, um, or maybe even paint the inside of the linen closet a different color. So there was a pop of color at the end of the hallway. And I really like, I'm gonna back up a little bit. This doorway is really wide. Um, so it really, even if you needed to make this house ADA accessible um, or had someone in your family that was in a wheelchair, it would be very easy for them to get in and out of these doorways. This is an oversized doorway to this master bedroom. Um, so that's a, that's a very good benefit. This is a fantastic size master bedroom. And um, carpet, really awesome window, new window. I know I keep saying that, but I really wish I had new windows at my house. Let me tell you what I'd do in this room. This room absolutely could accommodate a king size bed. And I would put a king size bed against this wall. And I would hang curtains a little bit more to the right side so I could create some symmetry with that window. A couple of nightstands beside the bed, maybe hang some pendant lights hanging down, put some great artwork either side of the window. And then over here, I'm turn around, I would put a tall dresser um, on that wall, maybe mount a TV so that I could watch TV in bed. I know they don't think that's a good idea, but me and Doug love to watch TV in bed. And I would put a chair in this corner right here. Maybe your own little personal timeout chair. Great place to read and just have some quiet time. Get to look out this window at this very pretty established trees and it's just so tranquil. Here's the bathroom. Same wood cabinets, same ugly countertop. But here's the thing, um, definitely enough room to be able to put in a vanity with two sinks. Keep the cabinet, just put in a new vanity. You can buy those for just a few hundred dollars. Put some uh, wood framing on that mirror so you're using it, it's good quality mirror, it just needs a frame. Um, I take out those spindles. I don't like that there's carpet in part of the bathroom, but there is tile by the tub and the shower. And then this really awesome master closet. I'm really kind of jealous. My house is bigger than this, but I don't have a closet this good. Great storage. You could even add additional shelves up top if you wanted to. Um, could certainly add hooks if you even need more. I mean, this is plenty of room. This is a really great closet. Anyway, fun, fun house. I'm already over the time that I thought it should be. If you're interested, you should give my husband a call, 817-307-0987. I don't know if I said that I would paint this fireplace, but I definitely would. Here's Doug. It's a great property, listed at 225, almost 1,700 square feet. Be a wonderful first time home or young couple or even an older couple looking to downsize. It's in a fabulous neighborhood, no HOA, but very well kept and clean. Super close to Joe Pool Lake, right in the middle of Cedar Hill. So let me know if you want to come take a look at it, I'd be happy to show it to you. Just a extra added bonus. If you use Doug as your realtor, I'm gonna give you four hours of design time, help develop a style, see how awesome we can make this house. The only caveat is your first party, you have to invite me. All right, peace out.